Hi, you're watching My Birthway, and I'm Emma. And just a reminder, this is a video series that I've done from before we even conceived, every single week throughout pregnancy to update you about my experiences and what I've been going through physically, emotionally, spiritually, socially, you know, all of those things. Um, and this week, we're on the 26 weeks update. Um, not too many things, I guess, happened this week. Um, it... It's been kind of like last week, like, oh, the, my body is getting bigger. Um, but I have noticed that w only one hip uh, has been sore when I've been sleeping. It's really weird. It's like it's like when I lay on it for too long, um, it, it just starts to ache. It's very different than feeling sore-hipped because of what I mentioned many, many weeks ago, like, oh, the nerve or like, you know, I just need to stretch. It feels really different. It feels like achy and throbby and strange. And it could just be the different weight of my body, you know, laying on my side. You know, you only have two side options. Um, it could be that, but that's, it's really interesting. But the other side, when I lay on it, it doesn't do that right now. It's just this one side. And maybe I happen to sleep on that side more often. I don't know. But that's kind of interesting. Um, and then once I roll over it, it's fine. So that's interesting too. Um, <clears throat> this week has also begun the peeing extravaganza that I know the rest of pregnancy will bring. So I was, I remember noticing way early on in pregnancy, like, oh, I have to pee more. But I know that that was hormonally. That wasn't because my uterus was actually pushing on my bladder yet. <clears throat> and this week I've noticed that that is happening for real. It's like, not even that I have to pee a lot, but it's like, as soon as I'm done peeing, I forget that I just peed. And in my head, I think I'm going to have to pee soon. And then I'm like, I, I just peed. Like, I theoretically could pee again, but I don't even know if it's the urge to pee or it's just that region is getting pressure, which is our normal signal as a human to be like, you should pee now, it's full, from my uterus. So I'm getting pressure from my uterus, even though I don't really need to pee uh, immediately after. Um, and at certain certain positions make it different, too, uh, and make it worse, you know. So I think that's kind of an interesting thing is, I mean, I could pee, but peeing every five minutes is really not necessary. So I'll try to hold it to, like... 30 minutes or something like that. Um, but it's that feeling of I got to go pee after I just peed. And then it's also the fact that I just pee way more often now. And I know it's because my uterus is getting bigger and heavier. Um, I've also noticed um, that the baby has been doing less intense kung fu moves on me. Um, I don't know if the space is getting a bit tighter in there or what, but... There's less kung fu and there's more um, alien activity, like little scratches and pushes, you know, that are like gentle and tickles and spins and things like that. But they're less like, hiya, karate chop, punch, kick, you know, there's less of that, which I think is an interesting change. Um, so, oh, also um, this week we successfully used the Fetoscope ourselves, Jason and I at home. Um, and I tried and I couldn't get the heartbeat, but Jason, like he felt more confident after our prenatal meeting a couple weeks ago, a prenatal appointment. And so he, we pushed around on my uterus together and we're like, Oh, I think that's the back. So let's put the fetoscope there. And he did it. And he was like, I think I feel the heartbeat. Like, like, I'm pretty sure this is it. And I was like, really? Like, wow. He was pretty sure. And then he handed me the, the earbuds or whatever. And I was like, okay, that is definitely the heartbeat. It was like really loud really strong, really obvious, and double fast, you know, because the baby's heartbeat is about twice as fast as what the mother's is. So that was cool because it was, like, so obviously the heartbeat. It was, like, before we'd been, like, straining to hear, like, is that it? As now it's, like, duh, that's it. Like, it's kind of nice that the first time we really heard the heartbeat was now because it was just so obvious. It was just so loud. It was really awesome. And then we tried, again, right after, and the baby had moved. So it was, like, okay, you can get the heartbeat once, and that's it. Um, I think I tried again a couple days later, but Jason didn't want to because he was like, oh, we did it once. That's exciting. We don't need to keep doing it. I was like, I know, but it's fun, you know, but I didn't succeed in getting a heartbeat. Um, so that's kind of what the way this week has been going. Um, it's getting warmer. I'm getting more tired as far as physically able to do things and less capable of maneuvering and lifting, not because of even heaviness, but because of, it's just not... I feel like I might fall over or I can't prop it up anywhere. My stomach's in the way, you know, things like that. Um, but I mean, otherwise it's been fine. It's just been a little more tiring. Um, 
but it, it, it just continue to get bigger every day and it's really cool. It feels really, really exciting. Um, and I just can't wait to see how big I'll get in the end. Like that'll be really fun. How huge did I, did I get? Um, like how many pounds did I gain? You know, all of those things. Um, so that's pretty exciting. So anyway, um, that's my update and it's been going great. So this is the 26 weeks. Um, we're really close to the third trimester, which depending on who you talk to is 27 or 28 weeks. Um, so next week or the week after is when it'll be third trimester, which is the home stretch. And I don't think we're ready yet. I mean, I think we're emotionally ready, but we're not ready as far as space goes. Like the baby room is not set up at all. It is just a room filled with laundry on a bed, <laughs> on a adult bed. Um, and the house is not ready. Like we're going to reorganize some of the rooms. That's not happened. But this is our really busy season right now. So we're kind of like going crazy with just farm work and stuff. And then that'll settle down in, you know, June and July. And then we'll be able to focus on it more. Um, but I'm just kind of itching to get started. So I have to wait. Uh, I mean, we don't have time right now. But I'm getting excited about like thinking about doing registry stuff. And like, oh, this is stuff we want. And we don't really want that many things. But things that would be really helpful. I'm excited to to, you know, record that and be like, oh, you know. Anyway, so that's what I have to say for this week. And thanks, uh, all, as always, for tuning in. I'm Emma, and I will see you next week for the 27 Weeks Update. All right, bye.